Hi everyone, I'm Loretta and I'm here with Titus. I'm going to go over and talk about a little of what I'm going to do with Titus next and our Liberty. So one of the things that I'm going to do with Titus and our Liberty next is that we're going to step up onto something as like the finishing of the Liberty routine. Right now we're starting with a milk crate. I'm having something custom built that's going to be about the same size as this, but it's going to be wooden so it'll be able to handle his weight. Not that this can't handle his weight, but it'll be a bit more pleasing to the eye. So I'm going to... So the hopefully the goal is to have him walk up to the crate and I'll be able to say up and move my hand up and he'll step up onto the crate. But right now, I have to move one of his legs onto the crate before he'll move his other leg up. Which is fine, we'll get to the point where he'll just naturally move up. And then, he won't have the lead rope like this, the way I'm holding it. It'll be around his neck. Like how we usually... Okay do our routines like so. Since this is a new trick and a new routine that I'm trying to get him into, I'm, I am going to treat him. Give him treats. Sit down. Good boy. Now, come on. Walk on. Come on. Walk on. Hide him. Hide him. Walk on. Come on. Now since I am doing a new routine with him, not a routine, a new trick with him, I'll be taking from what he knows and adding to it, so it's going to be a little more difficult to get him to learn this trick and remember the other ones, as he's kind of a one-track mind type of horse. As you can tell, he kind of forgot to follow me when I said, walk on, come on, which is fine. We will not only add this trick to our trick that, to the tricks that he already knows, but we're going to continue working on all the tricks that he has learned so far. The bad thing is with learning with tricks, step up, step up, step up, is that then he'll constantly expect the tricks, which does kind of put the training behind. Here we go, good boy. Now I do step up, put my leg up on the milk crate because his weight does tip it off. So it had, it would fall, has it fallen on him, but it will fall. And I only know that because of the way I've been messing with it to see, which is why we're having something custom built, so that no matter what he steps on, what angle he steps on, it won't tip over on him. Stop. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do this a few more times with him, and I'm gonna talk about what all we'll be doing with his liberty routine, which I'm hoping we'll be able to find a place to do it at soon, as I'm really wanting him to get out there and get into Sit down. Sit down. As you can see, see, he did not go over, which is why we're having another thing built for him. Oh. Oh. And that is kind of my fault that he started backing up because he is trying to move with me. Come on. Come on. Step up. Sit 
today is his off day as was yesterday. So I'm hoping that he's just having a couple off days and that he's not gonna put me behind on his training. As yesterday I had a free grading clinic lecture and they asked about Liberty so I was trying to show them a little bit about Liberty with him and he would not do anything that I asked of him. So I'm hoping that he's just having a few off days and that he'll be back to his normal self with his Liberty routines. Which is why today is so important that I'm doing the milk crate. So right now I'm going to have to pull him up to it and put his leg up on it while I'm saying step up. Step up. Step up. Good boy. Good boy. We are trying to break him to ride so we can use him for light riding for our B, more advanced riders to do light riding with, especially because we are wanting him to be so well trained in Liberty that they can ride him bridleless and just have him listen to the spoken commands for a few riding sessions. But he looks, he's very calm, it's just we don't think that he'll be able to take hard riding because of the hooks. Oh boy. Sit down. Ho. Ho. Stand. Now, like I said, we're not sure yet on all, well, all the little, you eating alive by flies, sorry. Well, all the routine will intake but it will intake sidestepping he will follow me around and we are hoping to get him to the point where he'll trot with me right now he is not at that point stand tight and then we will do some of his little halfway liberty circles i'm not sh sure by that point by the time we get a little Liberty Circle fully spoken onto, but even like a halfway Liberty Circle will be nice in the routine. We're definitely going to use a crate or a box of sorts, just not this mount crate. This mount crate is only here for learning purposes. Only. Good boy. Step up. Step up. Walk on. Walk on. So I'm going to do it one last time and I'm going to talk a little more with you. Up. Up. Well, as you can see, it tipped over even with my help on it. Which luckily has not deteriorated him from doing it. Because we were told the milk crate by idea by a dairy farmer of mine. But when we started, when I started to do this, it would tip like that but unfortunately we have to have something big enough for him to stand on and this will hold his weight but I need something that won't tip when he steps on and off of it because I don't want to have my foot up there the entire time so I'm gonna ask him to step down 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 Come on. down there we go good boy Come on. I'm going to grab a few more treats so I can do it with him a, one more time and I'm going to talk a little bit while he's standing up there.
And I wanted this to go all the way on. It was kind of teetering at the edge. So I knew that would knock them off balance. So we are hoping to do some Liberty uh, events in the future, if anybody knows of any that have seen this and that would be willing to help us out and trying to find some places to do it, like rodeos, intro to shows, anything along those lines. We're not looking to actually show at a show as that is not the type of 